Good evening, everybody. I'd like to call this meeting of the New Britain Board of Education to order. It's May 8th at 6.03 p.m. If we could all rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Mr. Gay, if you would lead us. To the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please follow the roll. I have Mr. King with the C. Yep. I have Ms. Bulkins. Here. Mr. King with the K. Here. Ms. Parker. Here. Ms. Reyes. Here. Ms. Santana. Right here. Mr. Listro. Here. Ms. Gay. Here. And Ms. Santana. Present. We have a few people signed up for public participation. Ms. Kathy Cheney. Good evening, my name is Kathy Cheney. I live at 6 Kent Road here in New Britain. Um, I'm here tonight with some, my family and a very special friend uh, to say some thank yous and to kind of close a chapter. Many of you will remember that when our son and brother Ben Cheney died in a car accident in 2012, we asked that memorial donations be made to the New Britain High School marching band. Um, and so much money was sent for that that we were urged to uh, continue fundraising. It was an organization that Ben loved dearly. Todd loved not quite so much, but he also, <laughs> he also loved it. <laughs> um, anyway, um, so for 10 years we did an annual fundraiser. And last year, about this time, Nelva Marquez Green and I were both here as she kicked off what we said was going to be our final year of fundraising. It been 10 years, it was a lot. I, we had a goal of $20,000, which would have brought the total donations in Ben's memory to 100000 We were just short, but Nelva never forgets. <laughs> and she's here tonight um, to present a check. We're going to give it to Justin Carlin. He can pass it off to the appropriate people. That, But she, that will bring our our contribution in Ben's memory to $100,000. But I have to say that thanks to the education staff here, first with my, our beloved Dr. David Kaiser, who encouraged us to do this, and now with Justin Carlin, um, we were encouraged to do this. We were thanked profusely to do this. It has been such an honor because a lot of parents who have lost a child never have anything that they can do like this. It's so visible. It means a lot to the community. It means so much to the kids. That band is such a vital part of our community, and I feel like I own a little piece of it now. And it's a, it's a great feeling. But we want to thank the teachers. We want to thank the staff. We want to thank the community. And Justin has asked, right after the last benefit, if if the band boosters, which I think is what the Parents Music Association is now called, can continue to use Ben's way, Ben's name in some way to do their fundraising, and we're a hundred percent behind that. So, now would you come up and maybe tell everybody where this particular donation came from? Good evening. Um, to whom much is given, much is required. And um, we've had friends lift us up for the past 10 years, and we're so incredibly grateful for that. And you know that our hearts are always in Uber, and even though Anna has a school. Um, every year, we have dear friends who host a benefit for uh, us, for our family. They were probably one of the first people in our door on December 14, 2012, and they've never gone away. Uh, one is the band conductor at a private school in uh, New Jersey and every year he gives a significant donation for the past two years we've dedicated that to the New Britain High School Band in honor of Ben and um, I called Kathy a little while ago and I said how short were you how were you short what happened with that did you make your goal I think it's incredibly important that we support community members trying to do right especially in the face of tragedy and uh, this was our small way of paying it forward and also remembering the students of New Britain who play instruments our kids really need this please congratulate your music staff and all of these people who contribute to the wellness of children we're so grateful to be able to do this today thank you justin come on up and let 
get your hands on this money because it's yours to <laughs> ultimately to do whatever it needs to be done for the art. Kathy was going to get her hundred thousand dollars no matter what. I <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then we have Sharon Beretta. I wish my speech was as positive as that, but, uh, you know, I always called the Brenton High School Band the ambassadors, the number one ambassadors of this community. And uh, it is the one good thing about living on Mill Street because I can chant, lift your heads and hold them high. <laughs> Hurricane Band is marching by. <laughs> love it, love it. I graduated from there, obviously. So um, I'll, I'll start out with something positive. Um, the neighborhood in Mill Street on which I live in the neighborhood surrounding Mill Street has seen a marked um, positive difference since school started in September. Um, but we didn't really see that till um, pretty much March. And uh, the issues that we had um, were the motorbikes and the motorcycles going up and down and all that noise minute, every minute of the day start in September really, every minute, every two minutes. Um, the fact that these students are out of the building and they're on our personal property they're destroying property, such as uh, porches, where they wouldn't get off. 36 Mill Street was a prime example of that. I have pictures, but you can drive by it. And uh, one of the most recent property damages were our fences. Um, and we have a verification that happened around the neighborhood um, where they would break latches. And this morning I just, and trash is another issue, which is minor, but I watched a kid literally empty his car on the street. So I started making calls on September 7th when I called the superintendent's office and spoke to your wonderful assistant, Diana. Um, on September 8th, um, I made calls to MVPD as did numerous residents, numerous residents on Mill Street and I would assume the area made these phone calls. On September 8th, I also messaged Tony King. Um, on September 8th, I called the mayor's office. Her suggestion was to contact our state legislature, which I did have conversations with. Um, but that was, um, being that the election was coming up, it was more about the police accountability bill, which I, I'm not a fan of either. But I said, I can't wait for the state legislators to make a different legislation to address the issues we have. On September 13th, uh, Chief Shoot uh, returned my phone calls. Um, on the 15th, I brought in Howard Dyson, and I have a neighbor who's not here tonight, I have a neighbor that's here, who speaks consistently with Alderperson Alden Russell because he happens to live on Brook Street. Um, in October, we filed a police report. Some of the neighbors wanted to file a police report, which we did with Sergeant Webster and Officer Kordak. Um, and so this is what we've been doing. Um, I also, in March, contacted Public Works to reinstall no parking signs on the side of the street where they're supposed to go, um, which I really don't, we don't have any problem with the parents who want to park there and pick their kids up. I mean, that's not the issue. But I wanted them back in. Um, we have a, stop, uh, a speed limit because they're speeding. On the bottom where South Main is and where Glen Street is, um, was asking maybe they could put one in the middle. And while it would do no good, I just looked at it as another enforcement tool for the police officers. Um, what they did was put a pedestrian crossing uh, signs, just probably trying to slow the traffic down. I did get one phone call from the principal, Mr. Pierce, but at that time, I called him not a team player because his answer to me was, well, of the cycles, only four are my kids, and we can move the bike rack, which, okay. But I said, it, maybe they're not directly all your kids, although there's kids that should be in school somewhere, um, some of them. But the problem with that was that um, the problem with the high school is that so many kids, and I know, you know, it's this, a, a, just a group, uh, but they're either by the pool, they're walking the neighborhood, you see them all walking back to the buses at the end of the day, and they're at the playground where a lot of people have that issue. So just by the fact that they're out of the building, they become the audience for all of these scooters and motorcycles that are going down and doing their tricks. And they do pick up kids and put them on the back of the bike, which is quite worrisome. No one's in any protective gear. So we can tell you that it was very noticeable, of course, when you had spring vacation, school is closed. The neighborhood returns to pretty much normal. I've lived there my entire life. 
So society has changed. So I always say the rules have to change because it's different now. It's just different. Um, so that, that's that. So as I mentioned, the property damage that we've had, we've made several phone calls. Mill, 36 Mill Street, while it was empty, was a huge problem. The police were coming there probably, you could, you could just get the records. But um, the day before, the new owners were on it, and most of the homes on Mill Street are owner-occupied. It's a two-family there. The day before uh, they were to move in on a Saturday, the Friday, my neighbor that's here watched them kick off the porch, which if you drive by, you'll see the damage they did. The police were called, but they didn't come until nighttime. Because um, in priority calls, it wasn't a priority call. Um, several fences, like, have been damaged. The loitering, even the corner store. He has, um, he's not appreciative of the kids that congregate there and the motorbikes. And he hasn't even shut down the pipes because technically he's not supposed to be filling that. So what our goal was from the beginning, and I brought it up, was to form a town and gown committee, and if you don't want to call it that, um, was just like CCSU had. And with, it was under then Mayor Timothy Stewart, and you know, the, the school, you know, the neighbors, it, it was much larger. I'm not looking to get, you know, everyone converging in uh, the auditorium at Central like they did there. But um, there were um, obviously two police departments, uh, chiefs usually attended. Um, there were school representatives like I'm looking to have here. There were um, people from the Common Council that I'm looking to have here. I'm not sure if it has to go through them Council. But while we've seen improvements, um, if the superintendent changes, if the um, principal changes, we're not being informed of what changes you're making, what procedures, new procedures are in place, which probably are flexible depending on the times, but we're basically left in the dark. We do not know what changes you're making, and I just feel that because we're the ones that have these problems, we should be informed as to what you're doing, so that are they permanent, going to be permanent changes, Obviously, like I said, as times change, everything is flexible. They'll come to you or whomever. But we don't want to keep going going through this because, I mean, I don't want to start another September and have the motorbikes coming down my street at 749, 917, 927, 1051, 1052, all the way till 211. Right now, when we see the few that come up, it's usually lunchtime, and it's usually right before school is ending. But, you know, like I say, and we have the shooting which we have never had a shooting. And that was February 8th of 2022. And we've never had that on that street. Now, I don't know where they were students. When I watched it all happen from my window. When they were young students, so I'm not sure what school they belonged into. But nonetheless, the kids being out of school are a problem. And uh, I would think my parents would have expected, and I look, the world has changed. I, I feel bad that it falls on the school system the police, I'm not sure where it is, but that is why we need to have a committee so we can all work as a team and that the neighborhood, at least the people, there's people calling all the time, according to people I spoke, speak with in, uh, in the PD, so it's not just me. But the reason I'm a spokesperson for most of you who know me, some of you who know me, is because I've served on several commissions and been highly involved in the past in the city, so I know who to call. And believe me, I think I contacted every partner I could possibly think of to ask to, and try and do it the right way. Being here to speak tonight really is not what I really want to do. But I'm really trying to get some, a team, a partnership, of a positive team so that we can move forward and we're not doing this year after year after year. So thank you for listening. And um, like I say, lift your heads and hold them high. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> is there anybody else who would like to address the board? Second time, is there anyone else who would like to address the board? <coughs> One more time, would anybody like to address the board? All right, public participation is now closed. We'll move on to section two, superintendent's report. Thank you, Madam President. Um, perhaps apropos to the public speaker we just heard, um, uh, I'm going to begin my comments by uh, introducing to the board and thereby the community, Mr. Russell Taylor, our new security manager. So, Mr. Russell's going to, uh, Mr. Taylor's going to come to the microphone and just give a brief introduction of himself. Please. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Should I use the this microphone? I think so. Bear with me. Uh, my previous job, uh, if any of you didn't know, I uh, just retired last year from. Uh, 30 plus years in law enforcement, 23 with the Department of Correction as a captain at Cheshire. So, uh, 
That wasn't as intimidating as standing up here right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's okay, I'll get through it. Uh, you're not going to throw anything at me, are you? No. Not today. Oh, okay. Not today. Um, not today. <laughs> Just give me a little bit of time. Uh, I will say that I want to thank the superintendent and his staff for uh, bringing me on board. Um, I'm looking forward to this new chapter um, and uh, continuing on my, with my mission um, to protect and serve. I did that as a police officer in Bristol and as a uh, United States Marine in Desert Storm, um, and I will continue to do that. I spent uh, six days in retirement before I picked up the job as a security transportation and safety chief up at Westover Job Corps. So I've dealt with the element of you know the youth and, and what have you, and I've done uh, several things as a police officer, as a DARE officer, and community um, police uh, explorer advisor. So I understand those those dynamics that need to be addressed um, from the community level. I think that uh, my moving forward, and I was told to keep it brief. So if anybody wants to go out and get coffee, <laughs> no, okay, you got, oh. I'm ready. I like that you're prepared. Um, but we are in, in preparation for things. I have been, since I started with the board the last uh, two weeks out of the three weeks that I've been here, doing the uh, security audits for all the schools. Um, we're three quarters of the way through. Um, it's going, I think, very well. Uh, we're getting in, uh, a lot of information that we're going to be able to use once they present it to you um, to facilitate some of the issues that uh, uh, the lady uh, spoke of. Um, I want to be part of this community. I'm not from New Britain. But I know that, and I feel very embraced by the family uh, thus far. So if there are any questions, comments, or concerns, I'm, I'm open to anything, um, anytime. Uh, one of the things that I told my staff, and one of the important things that I did day two of my uh, time at the school was a, a training. And I told them and talked to them about my philosophy. Uh, and I'm going to end, with, end with, uh, with this. My philosophy is ownership, accountability, and respect. You take ownership of the good, the bad, and the ugly, um, you are responsible for it. Take accountability for your actions, uh, good and bad, uh, and then respect. Uh, I, the last one, I, I, I can never decide whether it's, it should be one hour or two, respect and responsibility or both, so <laughs> respect and responsibility. Um, we are responsible, and this is how I'll close. We are responsible, and I am now responsible for the safety and security of the staff and students in New Britain Consolidated School District. That being said, um, I take it very seriously, um, just like I took every other mission out of my life very seriously. So, again, if there are any concerns that you need to bring to me, um, I would be happy to listen to them, and I'll do my level best to um, create a situation that um, works out as best for us for the safety of students. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. You say welcome to our team. So as, as now has become tradition, Madam President, the, the rest of my report will be to give you a quick overview of our excellent and always getting better district dispatch. Um, I, it's uh, special for me actually to speak about the uh, superintendent's coin recognitions, recognizing the man who makes this publication look so good. So at the suggestion of Ryan Langer, our communications officer, Powell Figat was recognized. And also right next to that, um, kind of in a theme tonight, recognizing our music program, continuing on from what we heard from our, our members of the public earlier. Mr. McAvaney and Ms. O'Connor were instrumental in applying for and then us winning the Mr. Howland's Opus Foundation grant that is providing um, a great amount of musical instruments um, to the school. Really, really proud of that. Uh, turning the page, Smalley Hot Sticks. Uh, as we know, it's, a, it's another point of pride connected to music in our district. Uh, the bottom right of that page is uh, something that was in uh, my email, up to, uh, email update to a few weeks ago, really an honor that we've been named um, one of the best, in 2023, best communities for music education. And that's through the National Foundation NAM. Um, really a great honor and obviously well deserved. As it says later on in the article, we know that music is um, really at the core of the culture here. A particular point of pride for me is my work with Mr. Taddeo of Whitson's. Um, so great to see our partners at Whitson's really putting, I believe, truly restaurant quality food in front of our kids with some of the new uh, menu options that you'll find there. Um, and then continuing on, lots of great updates. Uh, the success of our Ed Rising team, lots of great celebrations, uh, recognizing kids and staff for what they do so well. 
So um, the, one other thing I'd like to mention among um, everything else that's really great stuff going on here are the three students who were uh, who won the Traveler's Edge Scholarship. And uh, it was new learning for me, really. It's not just a scholarship. It's actually mentorship through, through their four years of, of college, sponsored by, of course, Travelers. So really great things, as always, happening in our school district. I'm happy to present that to you tonight as a preview of the district dispatch. And that'll be my, my report for this evening. Thank you. Committee reports. <clears throat> Curriculum. Uh, didn't we? Ah, finance facilities transportation. Yes, we met last week. Um, in addition to our usual donations, we also had a nice presentation from Director Spalding on uh, special ed costs and how it's rising. It was very eye-opening, um, especially when you hear the costs for a student per pupil to bring well, 17000 for um, the average student. It could rise to a quarter of a million dollars per special ed student, uh, depending on outplays and services, et cetera. Um, then we went over how much that's one of the fastest increase. We had a special too, him and I, about offline. Could, um, what factors maybe contribute to the increase in the number of special ed cases? Um, but, but one thing I liked hearing was that um, the district has been working on trying to bring as many civil services in house to save us that money. Um, we looked over a few purchase stories, which are coming before the board tonight, both on the consent agenda and off. And we also saw I got updates on the facilities uh, audit and security audit as well. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, personnel. Yes, we had a meeting, very short meeting. Uh, only had a couple of items on MOU for uh, parent teacher conferences and we hired two new, uh, approved two new positions for leading teachers. And that was it. Okay. Policy. You did not meet. I did not think so. Did I miss any? No. All right, board reports. Have one, right? um, one I'd like to make for sort of thank uh, my class last week at Central, Fisher 192 program. We had a very good public speaker last mm -hmm. night. Last week, um, thank you, Dr. Gasper, for coming on behalf of the class. It was fun. And, uh, but I also want to echo, too, that was a positive on me. And anyway, I do want to echo what Ms. Barretta said. Um, I live on Brook Street next to from the high school. And while she was talking, I just pulled up my uh, doorbell cam. I counted six high school students walking in front of my house, roughly the same, the same time, just but between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m., walking back and forth. In some cases, the same students back and forth. Um, so as we have the new security director and the security audit being done, I am extremely interested on improving security at the high school. It has been an ongoing issue. I have have had kids vandalize my property on Brook Street over the last uh, 20 years I've lived there. Um, I've seen my neighbors' houses get broken into during the day. Um, I've seen their may I even caught a student one time going through my neighbor's mailbox. And luckily, he was a new bird cop, too, the guy the, who lived in that house. Um, so I'm very interested to see what changes are made for the high school. And I do support, if we were to have a town and gown committee, I strongly support that idea. I think it's way past due that we do that. Thank you. Anybody else? But just to speak up about, I've been talking about this forever. I live on Glen Street also, and I see the same thing. The kids going back and forth. But I don't think it's just... Our problem, I think it's a city problem, mm -hmm. and I think the city has to be <coughs> responsible, the police department. We need some help. You can't secure the building and the neighborhood, too. Right. You know, that's a big job for them. They don't have enough people to do it, and, you know, so we need help. But it can't just be coming from us. We need more than just the school system doing something about what's going on in the neighborhood. Well, my concern, because it's happening every place. My concern is, well, yes, it is a town problem, um, but the kids are getting out of the building. That's my concern. Are they getting out, or you don't know that for sure? You don't know if they're getting out or never going? Well, it's, it's around 9 o'clock, you see the kids walking away from the high school. Getting off the bus and... Mm -hmm. Hanging around there, too. So yeah. that's my concern so, on that. Yeah. I do have a couple things actually. So we had a pretty, um, I thought, productive meeting with council about the 
the budget. I thought it went pretty good. Mm -hmm. I thought it was pretty good. Um, you will notice that we are down one member, Mr. Marino. He had to resign his position, unfortunately for us, but for the city, he's now the new chief of police. So that's that's pretty cool. New he's Britain graduate. To, yeah. He can help us with our. Yeah, he can help us with what we just talked about. Um, and then um, Alderwoman Desiree Costa. She just wanted to say thank you to everybody for that was able to make it to that meeting. And then, of course, I don't want to steal your thunder about Teacher Appreciation Week, but she wanted to express that, but she could not make it to it. Anybody else? Happy Teacher Appreciation Week. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tried to, like, I was trying to hide you before, but it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, um, no, we, we really appreciate all the work um, all of our teachers and staff do. Uh, last week was also School on Cheryl Week, so, um, uh, I also want to give thanks to Whitson's and um, the, the work Whitson's is doing and Jeff Taddeo in particular to revamp the school meals program. Um, the wellness committee met a few weeks ago and um, we met at uh, Pulaski Middle School uh, and we had about 10 middle schoolers with us that shared their opinions on the school meals. So, um, was, you know, the middle schoolers don't hold anything back. Um, and Jeff um, really got a lot of good feedback and we were really encouraging them to provide useful feedback too. So um, we're continuously improving the, the meals. Uh, I also wanted to give um, some appreciation to our after school partners. After school programs are wrapping up at the end of the month. Um, and this year seems like the first year we're like back to full enrollment, uh, which is really great to see um, that, you know, the kids are in school after school and, you know, the Parks and Rec programs are, are full. There's just tons of kids. Um, it seems like it's back to normal. Um, and that's a really key aspect of our school community is making sure our schools are open after school um, and the kids have a place to continually learn. Um, that's it. Thank you. Just trying to go in a row. <laughs> like, all in a row. Um, first and foremost, at the end of last month, we actually had para, para educator recognition, um, which was, everybody knows, is like near and dear to my heart because each one of my kids has a full team behind them that makes, uh, that helps them in their success. Um, and so I just wanted to say thank you to not just the educators, but also the para educators who, you know, just make it all work and it's really, really fun. Um, and then if no one else has said it, at least for a word for Pulaski, as a Pulaski mom, I've actually been getting my announcements, my weekly announcements in both English, um, followed by a second phone call in Spanish. Um, and it is just amazing to see that um, so much has been happening in a wonderful way of communicating with the families in a way that we've just never seen before. So I thank um, Mr. Ortiz and, and his crew over there at Pulaski. Um, and also the increased communication even from Slate. It has just been wonderful um, getting it. So I just wanted to make sure that I pointed that out. And we're going to be recognizing a GEMS program that I just found out about over at Pulaski. So I'm looking forward to that recognition coming this week and a little bit more on them. So thank you for that. I forgot one more thing. Oh, yeah, finish, finish up. Boy. Uh, sorry. <laughs> no, go Did uh, gems make you think of something? Yeah. <laughs> uh, New Britain High School is having their um, plant sale Thursday and Friday after school outside the greenhouse. Um, Miss Hughes is the uh, garden club advisor, so she would love it if anyone was looking to purchase any plants um, to stop by the plant sale Thursday, Friday after school. My niece is in that garden club. They're fun. <laughs> Mr. King. Um, yeah, uh, actually staying at the high school, um, their Hops concert, Friday, May 26th. Uh, it's always a good show, 7 o'clock at the uh, Auditorium at New Britain High. And then May 30th, of course, New Britain, we're very traditional. Our parade is always the 30th, always mm -hmm. has been. All of our ceremonies are the 30th. So the parade kicks off top of broad at 6 o'clock, and we are well represented by all of our middle school bands, uh, high school band, of course, and then and my uh, many of our community too. groups. Yep, Girl my Scouts, girl uh, different leagues, sports leagues, and a lot of our kids in there. So. Thank you. Anybody else? No? Up. Well, uh, my palms are sweaty because uh, I'm uh, conflicted on whether I should go back to the, return to the conversation. Um, I don't want to bring it up and down, but I bring it up again. But it is important that we talk about it. Um, 
I used to live on Brook Street, right across the street from Anthony King, mm -hmm. uh, 119. I lived in the apartment building, I lived on the third floor. Um, we, did, we did have a lot of incidents. Um, and the main reason we, we moved, uh, a primary reason we moved, is um, because of the student population um, that sort of inhabited the area. Um, and uh, the final last straw was, um, was one, one day, just a regular afternoon, uh, school was getting out. Um, my mom was walking through our living room, uh, and we lived, on, we lived on the third floor. And, um, and a bullet came through the window, uh, shot right above her head. Uh, drywall was broken. It, it, like, it, it was just frightening. Um, and I don't mean to like shock anyone by saying that. But, um, I mean, this was five years ago, but it seems like it's still the same. Uh, and I, I am excited to see um, improvements in the security system. Um, I would gladly support that in any way I could, um, if that means people don't have to live and feel like that. Um, and as a student, if, I, if there's any perspective I provide, uh, I'm, so, I'm, I'm like really heavy, heavily advocating for that. Um, I, I do sometimes witness students leaving the school. I do sometimes witness uh, things that students are doing. Um, I believe it might be beneficial to have some sort of like, um, some sort of like, security like testing going through the building, like uh, seeing like where students get out easily, like where the cameras are like not present, like um, and if if anyone if it, uh, where is he? Um, no, he left. He left. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, if anyone, if if I could talk to anyone, I would gladly help them with this because I feel so strongly about it. Um, it, it, it was terrible seeing my mother like so shocked like that. Um, so I do agree with our, our, our guest speaker, um, Ms. Beretta. Um, and this is this bad morale for the students. Uh, like, like it's it's hard to talk about, but like, yeah, nobody likes that. Nobody likes the motorcycles that go by. It's just really annoying. Um, well, uh, anyways. Um, I guess on a positive note, somewhat positive, where a lot of students are busy, have been busy this last month. Um, I like to say it is good for our morale that um, a lot of students uh, rep their college merch, uh, their decisions. Um, that, that was on May 1st, it was decision day. Um, it was a pretty big event. And if, if we hadn't already finished the yearbook, that would be a nice page. Um, and, oh yeah, I'm going to CCSU, by the way. <laughs> Give up their teacher, right? Um, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm torn right now between uh, secondary education mathematics and uh, research chemistry. Oh, great. Uh, because uh, I'm doing so good at both right. um, I guess more of a personal one, though. Uh, well, the reason Olivia, yeah, Olivia's not here. Um, she's at a tennis game right now, uh, a away game. Um, and uh, Joe Vavrichuk has a message for you. Uh, he wants to tell you all that he's the best coach around. <laughs> <laughs> he tells me every day the parking garage. <laughs> and he's humble, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He is a great role model. Um, all right. Um, I mean, I guess, I guess a positive thing I can share about the security system at the school. Uh, internally, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, the cameras, uh, one time, there was, a, there was a door near the auditorium that I wasn't supposed to open. I just opened it, and, um, well, I mean, I guess that's an oversight of sorts, but um, I just opened it, and uh, there was a guard standing there. Uh, immediately, I heard on the intercom, uh, or the walkies, um, I heard the guy at the camera, Mike, I think, in the camera room. Um, I heard him say, uh, hey, there's some kids opening some doors they shouldn't be. Uh, so I guess that's a good thing. That was you. <laughs> you got famous. <laughs> Tests is, is the only really, really other thing that happened for me. Uh, well, I mean, if anyone from the music department uh, is still here, uh, we had a really successful um, show um, last Friday. Um, our back on the Broadway stage. Um, yeah, the, the, apparently the performances were among the best uh, that the school's had. Um, 
maybe they're just telling us that. But <laughs> no, it was really good. And it was really uh, good to be a part of it. Uh, I definitely think like a lot of students should co contribute to the music department. Um, and I, I wish we had more male interest because next year magicals um, we're a little short on guys. Uh, the bass section is very small, um, but um, yeah, the music department is not a big thing for students. Um, that's that's really going to be somewhere else. Uh, I don't have much else to talk about. I think we're going to do that. Awesome. Tomas, did you do a senior presentation? Oh, I'm doing it uh, next Wednesday. Ms. Velasquez and I attended some. We were quite impressed. This Wednesday? Well, I, I kind of made mine somewhat avant-garde. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, it's definitely interesting, but, um, but it does tell a lot about myself. Um, but I think this, this is a really great opportunity. It gets students like uh, pensive. It gets them like, thinking about themselves and their futures. Like, uh, not even just like having one slide, but just seeing everything <coughs> respectively. Um, it was a great program. Uh, I mean, and I, I think we've had like an overwhelming success, probably, like with the amount of students who have done this. Um, yeah, this is great. Um, so mine is in two days, but uh, yeah. Well, good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. All right, so moving on to section three, new business. Can I have a motion to approve the minutes from the regular board meeting, Board of Education meeting on April 3rd, 2023? So moved. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? <coughs> Any abstentions? Item B, is there a motion to accept the enrollment report? So moved. Second. All those, any discussion, questions? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Any extensions? Item C, do I have a motion to accept the report, uh, report personnel transactions and extracurricular appointments? Move. Second. Okay. Any questions? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Next. Item D, do I have a motion to approve a purchase order and bid waiver for the purchase of an installation of the Dial Medical Sim Rig Ambulance Trainer Classroom Standard Package in the amount of $63,346,000. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Now, I do have a few questions. Mostly around um, the pricing differences. On the form, on a submission form, it's $63,346. But then within the two um, quotes, one is seventy-seven thousand nine ninety-seven, and then the other is sixty-two three forty. I'm confused over what we're actually paying. I would ask Ms. Uh, Ms. Sandra Sanford to help us with that question, okay. please. Thank you. If um, if you notice on the second one, that's the seventy-seven. That's the same unit that the New Britain EMS uses. They double. They put all every option on the quote. So there's it, it's doubled up. You get this package or this package, this package and this package. So it was a comparison. Uh, it, yes, yeah, so you oh, could pick which one. Okay. Um, okay. And, and and that's an all inclusive quote. What we are going to uh, be purchasing is for the sixty-three. Okay, because some of the items are consumables as well that we already have, but they wanted to provide us when we met with them everything and every option that could happen in the next few years. Okay, but then can't we submit our tax exempt form to get the four? Exactly, they put tax on it as well. That won't be included. So it'll be the 58 or yes. whatever. Yes. Okay. All right. And then one more. I'm not going to be able to have any. This class, I know we upped it from. Like it was like a half a year, now it's nine months. Can they be certified as an EMT by the time they graduate? Not, this is the one, this is the first class to progress into a scope and sequence. So the existing okay. class, Intro to Public Safety, does have the EMS coming to teach it, but there would need an extension to get the full course to get certified. But this in itself, is a, a baseline so that we can engage more students um, and, and physical with, and have an adaptation and an application. Right now when they're coming in, it's PowerPoints and small simulations. This is gonna simulate, Emily is our instructor, it's, gonna, it's the exact same simulator they have at the EMS. Awesome. 
Thank you. Um, Anybody else? Uh, I just have, it's not about that, but are, are you all doing the blood drives at the high school anymore? I'm not aware. I'm not sure of that, but we can find out. Okay. Where the, in the, are you referencing when we used to do it in the gym? Yeah. I'm not sure, at, actually, at the moment. Only because uh, I, I got a call from Red Cross to ask me to donate, and I told them I usually do it at the high school, but they didn't have anything in this immediate area open. And, uh, Typically, the, a request from the Red Cross, Red Cross would either come to me or to mm -hmm. Ms. Gonzalez for, for rental of a facility. I haven't received anything yeah, in my time Yeah, because they usually do it through, through the high school, through one of the programs. They used to. They so used to. I don't to. know what happened with or? that. I thought it was a key club or something like that that you said. Yeah, do it. it was one of the organizations. Yeah. yeah. I haven't received any requests. Uh, I haven't heard of that in a couple of years either. Okay. I think with COVID, we kind of lost stuff. Probably. Probably. Mm -hmm. just didn't get back to it. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions? Uh, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? Item E, we have a motion to approve approve to amend the 23-24 calendar year for pre-K students in order to facilitate professional learning for staff. Move. Second. Any questions? Comments? So I'll just, I'll just going to give a quick introduction. So um, this is really to bring our pre-K key program in alignment with the rest of key from K through 8. So um, key programs in K through 8 already have this uh, allocation in the school calendar. It was a request from Mr. Spaulding that the board consider extending that to pre-K and it's a recommendation that I support. Thank you. Okay. Any questions? All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstention? All right, the consent agenda. Is there anything anyone, like, anyone would like to pull off the consent agenda? I'm going to pull off item G. Nothing. All right. I have a motion to approve a bid waiver between Master Yosef and CSDNB for summer services to see and sale program at Somali Elementary School for sixteen thousand two hundred. Motion. Second. Second. Any discussion? No. For me, I will abstain. This is my school in pursuit of my second degree. I may teach a class or two, so I'm going to abstain from this vote. So all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstentions? That is it. Motion to adjourn. I just wanted to say something really, really quick. Just because I noticed on the um, personnel transactions, I just wanted to thank um, Wanda Lickwar for all of her years of service. Oh, yes. um, I saw that. I know it's not till the end of the next month, but I just wanted to thank you for all of everything you've done for the district. Thank you. Wait, will you make another board meeting or no? Bart, maybe it's you? Okay. We're not going to fire her if she misses it. What <laughs> 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 All right, motion to adjourn. Move. Second. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.